Hello again everyone, Age of Dune here. We're back with another League of Legends single player shoutcast. This one, I saw a post on Reddit the other day. A person saying he got to May, uh, to Masters, meaning only talent, or almost only talent. And that really piqued my interest because I haven't seen anybody but Insoy as a talent only main. So I was really curious to see that, especially given the fact that really I haven't seen all that much even since, uh, since, since the nerfs. So I wanted to go ahead and see that and see how, how this guy does it. You know, just for a little variety and just to see if he's a little different from Insoy. Also, the fact that Insoy is currently Diamond 5, whereas this guy's actually in Masters. Kind of makes me want to watch this guy a little bit more. Uh, you know, it, it just seems like he's getting a little bit further, and I'd like to see exactly how. Granted, I'd, it may be possible, well, actually, from the looks of it, it looks like Insoy not playing at all right now. Take a look here. Yeah, it looks like... No, no, no. Never mind, he is playing. Although only one... Oh, man, really? Why do you do this, Lee? Why do you... Okay, there we go. Cassiopeia, in a really unpleasant position, gets... It's really silly ever. She got slowed there by the Talon, and then <clears throat> these guys were just all able to go in. So that just gave a kill to the top lane and lots of assists. So that's really bad news for them. And now he's going to go back. He's going to be able to get something. And that's really going to tilt this <clears throat> in his favor because of the fact that, I mean, he's coming back to lane with an assist, and she just has a death. So a bit unfortunate there for her, but... Really, all he got out of it was some extra sustain, which honestly is definitely saying something, particularly against somebody like Cassiopeia, who's really good at that constant harass. Or at least she used to be. I haven't played her. I haven't seen her in a while. I think she still harasses in lane, though. I think so. Anyway, we'll have to see how it ends up turning out. He did go ahead, start with the Crystalline Flask and Health Potion, very similar to Insoy there, which is not really a huge surprise at all. Yeah, it looks like Insoy is actually still playing some, although it, it's definitely very rare, and his actual Talon games are even more rare. So, definitely unfortunate, but now we have a new Talon main to see. And I'm really curious to see how he did it. He actually did have a, uh, a guide as well, and I'll try to remember to go ahead and put the guide in the description down below. No promises that I'll actually remember. If, if I don't do it, and you guys want to see the guide, definitely shoot me a comment down below, and I'll go ahead and add it in, but in theory, I will not forget, but we'll see, <laughs> we'll see. So, so far, unsurprisingly, staying way the heck back, does not want to have to worry about getting in range of the Cassiopeia, gonna come in, get that CS, no, no, you stop that, we're gonna put you on manual camera mode, no more of that, don't have to worry about switching to other lanes now, and using that W to go ahead and CS, he actually, I, I did take a look at the guide, and he talked a lot about mana management and how to go ahead and do things in such a way that you don't end up running out of mana. And it was actually really, rel really well written, I thought, because he, he did actually describe very well exactly how to do a lot of stuff, like when to use your abilities in such a way that it does not end up, you know, number one, wasting mana regen, and number two, end up just wasting mana needlessly. So, it definitely seemed like a really good guide, and given the fact that the guy's in Masters, definitely willing to trust him on this. Missing a little bit of CS, but honestly, with this lane matchup, that's not a surprise at all. Not a surprise. He should be able to get this thing, though. Yeah, there you go. Gets that one with his W, and she's going to go ahead and just hit a couple Noxious... What are they? Twin Fang. Twin Fang. Noxious Blast. Exactly that. Yep, looks like we do have a gank coming in here from Fiddlesticks. Gonna be able to land the fear. Oh, she flashes, but unfortunately for her, still got the fear. Gonna be able to get out, <clears throat> but she does take about half of her life there. And she's only got a couple of biscuits, whereas Talon has a ton of sustain. He's also really high up on the mana. If you notice here, I mean, he's only been popping Crystal and Flask. So when he does decide to go in, he's not gonna have any problem whatsoever having the mana to go ahead and do so. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the time when he actually does that. He's now level 4, and I feel like we might actually see that eventually. He did say that you never really want to harass with the W, I believe it was, unless you were also getting a minion at the same time, because it is such a mana hog that it's just silly to do so, unless you're sitting at full mana, which he is right now, so we'll probably see him go ahead and cast that W here. There you go. And yeah, that, that is something he, he definitely talked about. You want to go ahead and, if you're, if you're at full mana, you're wasting mana regen. Use the W to harass then, otherwise, don't worry about it. Just 
do your normal thing and just harass with auto attacks and with Qs and everything else. He said you never really want to go ahead and E in unless you're going for a kill. That is about the only time you want to E in. So that actually was very interesting to me as well. And we, we've definitely seen it in this game. He has not E'd in at all. He said if you're against a melee person, you're going to want to get a lot of harass off using that Q. But against a ranged person, you're going to have a pretty tough time. I mean, honestly, that's not at all surprising. And you're going to want to go ahead and just harass sometimes with your W. And mostly just try to get as much CS as possible. Really, that's what he said. You want to use the W for CS. You, you don't want to use it for any harass. Because the CS is far more important. And you're just wasting mana otherwise. It's a good escape there by him. I believe he did go ahead and jump to the... Rengar. He actually might have just flashed. I know he flashed for sure, but I think he might have just flashed. There we go. Gets a little bit of harass there. Also, didn't end up getting that minion. But he's at level 5 now, which means he's getting very close to the point where he can just go in and delete her. Because that is one thing he said at 6, you're going to want to go all in. And you're really good at it, of course, because you're Talon. I mean, that, that is Talon's big thing. There we go. And she's going to go ahead and back off as she does see the fiddlestick. But yeah, he said... With, as, as Talon, your biggest thing is all in. All in. All in. Every time. N none of this slow poke down. Uh, which, honestly, I always thought, you know, I'd, I'd be more, you know, poke him down with WW and then go in. No, he said just go in. Go all in. And that was definitely something interesting to me. We do have a gank coming in here from the Fiddle 6 again. Lands the silence. Out comes that 6. She uses the ult there on Fiddlesticks. And he actually gets the kill, unfortunately, for Talon. But they do manage to go ahead and take her out. She nearly got Talon, but unfortunately for her, nearly is just not good enough, and he's going to be able to go back. He is actually only 5 CS behind, which, given what we've seen so far in this lane, really surprises me. I, I feel like she's been working very hard at harassing, but not worrying so much about the CS, which is definitely not in her best interest. Honestly, it's probably what I would do. <laughs> I, I tend to be very harass focused, keep them low, blah, I'm winning like that, but no. No, CS is super important, so I mean, she's missing out on a lot because of that. He's now coming back to lane with a pickaxe and a longsword. He's going to have some decent damage now, and that's definitely going to suck for her. So I'm going to go ahead and put everybody in order while we're waiting here. We've got Cyan played by Wardane against the Irelia played by Maximal Time, and he actually just managed to go ahead and take her out. The Cassiopeia is played by Wolves Aniki. And, of course, the Talon is... Hey, it's Talon! Yeah, I don't... Let me see. Let me see what his actual Reddit name was. I don't recall. I do not recall. And for some reason, it appeared... Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. It's actually Vapora Dark is the Reddit name, and the guide is by, I believe, Vapora Dark. Yeah, Vapora Dark. D-A-P-O-R-A-D-A-R-K. Vapora Dark. So... That's the guide. It's on Mobifire, and I know Mobifire has a pretty crappy reputation, but honestly, I've read through this one, and it actually was a pretty good guide, so <clears throat> it seems legit. I think they've gotten a lot better at having legit builds recently, too. They're gonna be able to there we go. Going in. All in. Out comes that six. In comes the fiddle six as well, and Talon gets that kill. Yeah, all in there. Use the ulti. She actually did have her ulti, but she did not manage to go ahead and use it before she was dead. So nicely done there by the Fiddle Talon. And that, again, is going to really help Talon getting rolling. Because he's going to be able to farm now. And, of course, he got the kill. He, he's going to be way ahead. Nicely done there using that Q auto attack reset to secure all of that CS. And he's going to be able to go back. He is now ahead on CS, which is kind of mind-blowing at this point in the game. But he is, he's going back now, and we will see him go ahead and buy something. There we go. Went for that Tiamat. Not really all that surprising. That is a similar to Insoy, actually, I believe, goes for Tiamat first as well. Getting that, the, uh, the active there really helps you burst down. Rengar going for the Phil 6, flashes in, misses the stun, and Phil 6 just says, yeah, you're feared. Get away from me. Still might have it. No, he's gone. All right, Cassiopeia was coming up here a little late to go ahead and try to help out. Didn't end up happening. And Talon, I'm not sure what exactly he's doing. I guess just protecting Fiddlesticks if Fiddlesticks needs it. 
It does not look like it's going to be necessary, though, and Talon is on his way back down. His ulti is actually up, so she's going to have to watch out because, again, she she's missed out on a lot here, and he is now significantly ahead of her, so he's definitely going to be able to go ahead and take her out in a one-on-one -on -one now, so she's got to watch out. He is going to go ahead and ward up over here, and he's actually going to be able to see her coming in. Getting some decent harass on him, though. Really, all that, not all that much. And there we go, he goes in, and she's dead. She's dead. He does use Flash for the kill, but again, I mean, that's a, yet another kill. And he was able to just insta-burst her down. So, he's definitely got his talent down very well. I mean, he even got frozen by her ult there and was still able to do it because he went in and just destroyed her with really nothing she could do about it. Nothing at all. It's actually really impressive given what pretty much everybody thinks of Talon at the moment about how weak he is and everything. This guy is just destroying this Cassiopeia. And honestly, part of it is that I feel like she's not really playing as well as she could just given the CS discrepancy early. But even with that, honestly, he's playing it amazingly so far. He really is. I'm going to go ahead and head back now. We'll see how this ends up going. See what he ends up buying next up here. He's got eh, 370 gold after he bought Moby's. So he's going to get a longsword as well. He's now super fast, which means he's going to be able to roam around and get kills that way. Again, that ulti is almost up already. I think it's a really short cooldown. Very convenient. I mean, he, he did definitely needs it, though. I mean, without it, talent's pretty much useless. Cassiopeia roaming down bottom, so he's going to be able to shove this lane up. And... Yeah. More free farm for Talon. I mean, that that's great for him. As long as Cassiopeia doesn't get a kill. If she gets a kill out of this, then it, it's not at all worth it for him. But instead, she's kind of being chased back. And there we go. The pull comes out there. Cassiopeia gets nothing. She's now going in on Nami. But, I mean, really not much going to happen there. She'll get some harass on her. So, this was a really long roam. And overall, it got her pretty much nothing. Fiddlesticks is on his way up to possibly go for this. And he does get picked up with the ward, as does Talon. They are going back for this. Nami ult is up. These guys are going to watch out. Out comes the ult. It is going to hit the grave. In goes the Talon. It misses the rake. Goes in with the ult, though. And he's going to go out with the ult. In comes the Fiddlesticks ult as well. And they are just destroying these guys. Down goes the Cassiopeia. Graves is getting really low. He's going to go down to Nami up there. And Blitzcrank going to be forced to go under tower. And Talon going in. He gets popped up, though, and misses the rake. He's going to end up going down. Ends up taking that turret dive a little too far there. Ends up going down for it. And, uh, of course, Nami did. I believe it was Nami anyway. Managed to go ahead and finish off that Graves. I don't believe Fiddlesticks came back in time to help out. In the meantime, though, Rangar's shoving this up to tower. So that little bit of a misplay there. Actually, it was a pretty big misplay by Talon is going to go ahead and allow them to do a lot of damage to the tower. But, I mean, overall, they still got a lot of assists. He still got a, a lot of assists, and it ended up coming out good for him. And they got the dragon kill, of course, too. Talon finally going down. Things are turning around now. Out comes the stun, and yeah, he's easy gone. All right, so hates Talon back up and kicking. He's now got a second longsword, and he is just buying the crap out of wards, which is a really good idea. At 9. Actually, he is 9 now. I'm kind of surprised we did not see him upgrade that to warding to him. I guess he didn't have the minerals. Or the, uh, ha, minerals. Yeah. Guess he didn't have the gold. And there we go. He's going to be able to take down Cassiopeia again. No, he's not. He did get the kill, I believe, onto the Rangar. But unfortunately, she was able to burst him down well, because of it. And she, of course, used her ult. So he did end up going down. And I guess she somehow had vision of him when he was walking that way. I thought... I didn't think she would, but somehow she did. But anyway, that's another kill for him. That is good news. I mean, yeah, his mid laner, his enemy mid laner also got a kill, but still, I mean, he's 3-2-3. Three, three. She's only 2-5-0. He is actually exactly even with her on CS, so he is still significantly ahead of her. He's got 580 gold. Mm, we'll see what he ends up spending that on here. Gonna go ahead and buy a Brutalizer. Not upgrading the Warding Totem. We'll see it eventually, I'm sure. Don't know when, though. Don't know when. And he's on his way back out there. Cassiopeia actually shoving the lane here. Probably... I don't know if she could have kept it locked. I did not actually have an eye on it. And now he is coming down. 
His ulti not up, so he's not gonna go all in quite yet. Gonna go ahead and use the active there from the Tiamat. Oh, in he goes, gets the slow on her. And yeah, his ultimate had just come up and he's able to go ahead and insta burst her down. She had no chance again to react. I mean, she's not even silenced, but of course her ulti is on cooldown. Without that ulti, she's not gonna be able to do squat to him. And you saw that there, she got some poison on him. She's really good sustain. Nada when it comes to burst. And of course Talon is one of the burst kings. So he is just destroying right now. Now he's gonna get a pink ward kill. <laughs> I like the effect there of the Tiamat. Just the boom, boom. And now might be headed up top. Yeah, there's the on my way ping, and it's obviously from him because he is indeed on his way. Irelia comes out doing some decent damage there, goes in, and yeah, he's dead. Talon's like, you know what, forget you, buddy. Forget you. <laughs> On his way back down middle, he got nothing out of that. Maybe able to get a blue buff out of it, however. Ward's up there, goes in on the blue buff, and Fiddlesticks is here to help. And yeah, they should be able to get this blue buff, which is going to be great for him. Because, of course, one of Talon's biggest limiters is that mana. So, with this blue buff, he's going to be able to really just destroy. His ult is back up. Cassiopeia overextended again, and he's coming in. Probably going to go ahead and use his ult to get in would be my guess, but I could definitely be wrong. As I've heard a lot of people say, that's not such a good idea. It's better to go ahead and just jump in. Use your ult as part of your damage, and that is what he's going to do. Jumps in. Out comes the Q, followed by the ulti, and the ulti in is just able to go ahead and finish her off there. Rough game for this Cassiopeia. And, you know, early game, she did bully him, and she's back ahead in CS now, but, uh, 2 7 0, not so pretty. Yeah, early game, she definitely bullied him, but she wasn't able to turn that to actually be useful in such a way as, you know, getting the CS, getting any sort of lead on him. She just bullied him. Kept him lower on CS than he would be against, say, a melee. But again, I mean, if you're not getting a lead for it, you're not gonna be. It's not it's not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. In they go. Another gank here. Talon coming down. Gonna go for the Blitzcrank. Got the Flash, but Talon's got Mobis. In he goes. Gonna land the, the W as well. Out comes the Caitlyn ulti. And yeah, they're gonna give this kill over to Fiddlesticks. Talon actually started walking away. So yeah, you guys got this. Alright, I just realized we never actually finished this. We've got Graves as played by Sasha. Gonna be against the Tiviti played by K playing Caitlyn. Oh my gosh. Ooh. In they go. Talon wanting to go for Cassiopeia. Getting zoned out by the Scion there. Gets popped up. And he's still gonna go for it. Ult still ends up going down though. Tried his best to go for it, but Scion was a little bit too good of a tank there. So while we are waiting for his respawn, let's continue. We've got Wreck for Co. Playing as the Blitzcrank. Vi... Vi... Hmm, dang it. Vinerdje. Vinerdje. As the Nami. The Rengar's played by Adanio. Or Daniel. And then, I'm not even... No. No. Fiddlesticks. Played with that guy. No. No. We're not... No. Just no. Alright. Talon's back up now. And he's got Yomu's Ghost Blade. Honestly, yeah. This guy's definitely building very similar, if not exactly the same thing as as Insoi did. He's just apparently done it in such a way that it's allowed him to continue getting Masters this season. I think honestly, Insoi will end up getting up pretty high as well. It's just so far this season, he really hasn't played yet. Out comes that Yomuz, and he is going for this Graves. Graves dashes away, jump to the minion there, and oh, the pull from Blitzcrank, pulling the Fiddlesticks under tower. Talon turns onto the Blitzcrank, ends up finishing him off there. Now he's going to try to get out, gets rooted by the Rengar, however, and he ends up going down to the Rengar burst. In the meantime, Scion able to go ahead and get that tower up top, but Caitlyn comes in and they're getting some decent damage. Oh, the Rengar bubble, or the bubble hit on Rengar. And he may end up going down here to Caitlyn with a couple more shots. Down he goes indeed. Fiddlesticks hanging around as well. Caitlyn taking up the tower. Is she going to get out? The heel says yes. She does survive that one. And they manage to finish off everybody that was down here. Kate, uh, Cassiopeia on her way down. She's going to meet across a Fiddlesticks in this bush. He says, yeah, I'm going to kill that pink ward. If she's not careful though, she's going to go down. 
Nami hanging out in the bush and Caitlyn right there. You don't want to fight that. You do not want to fight that. Got to go ahead and head mid now, though. And Talon is back up. Got another longsword. Probably working on last whisper with him, I guess. Wow, she actually goes for that. And he is coming in. Got to be able to go in. There we go. The bubble lands as well. And down she goes to his W. Followed immediately after by the blue buff. So, yeah, that worked out pretty well for him. She, she definitely overextended there by a lot. That was a pretty big mistake on her part. She thought, you know, I'd be able to go ahead and ulti the Nami and get out. But she forgot about the fact that, hey, there's other guys here. And Talon's back up. Able to come in, mop up, and get out. Blitzcrank now also overextending. In comes Aurelia. Hello. Get stunned up. Rangar's coming over, though. Is she going to be able to finish off the Blitzcrank? The answer is no. Ends up going down. Scion going in. Misses his ulti. Goes for the Nami. Flash comes out, though. He's not going to really go for that. And in comes Talon. Going to go ahead and land that break. Slows the Scion down. Scion actually doing a lot of damage, though. Dragon goes down for that team. Another slow comes out. Dodges the Q. Very nicely done. And they're going to be able to finish off the set. The Scion. Eventually. Question is, will they go down for it? No, they do not. Fiddlesticks comes in with the ult. Just in time to clean up the uh, undead Scion. Rest in peace, undead, undead Scion. Sorry, sir. Anyway. Talon did not end up going down. He is back up again. And gonna be able to zone her away from the Fiddlesticks just in time. Aurelia now coming in. Gets stunned up. But she turns the stun around. Talon comes in for the kill there with that cutthroat. And that is another kill for him. 9-4-4 four, four now. He's going to go ahead and head back. He's probably got a decent amount of gold here. He's currently at 100... Uh, oh, he just bought. Last Whisper. All right, I called it. <laughs> yeah, because that takes so much skill, right? Yeah, anyway. I was expected. Went for the Last Whisper. Get that armor pen, and that helps Talon's burst tremendously. He's going to be able to burst... Well, not pretty much anybody. I mean, Scion... Definitely really tanky. It's going to be hard to burst him down. But most of the other people are going to have a pretty rough time against Talon now. It's going to be able to delete most of the people. Depending on how Rengar built, he might be able to survive. So far, not really. He has no armor whatsoever, so he's going to be a shredded pretty fast. Blitzcrank overextended here. Talon's coming in, and things are not going to go pretty for him. In he goes. Lands that slow from the W. Ulti comes out, not quite enough to finish him out. The flash into the bush there. Nicely done. Oh man, are they gonna do it? Are they gonna do it? Come on, come on. Oh, oh, yeah, they get him. That was a good attempt. And the bubble lands on Rengar Talon. Not gonna be able to get in there in time, actually, might be. Gets hit up there by the ulti from Cast though. And now he's gonna be forced to back off. Scion comes in as well. Irelia trying to do something, ends up going down. Double kill comes out there to the cast. So they managed to finish off the Blitzcrank, but unfortunately, probably not worth it. Two for one. Almost definitely not worth it, unless they can answer with a tower, which is really unlikely. Really unlikely. Fiddlesticks hanging out in this bush, though. If these guys continue shoving, they do not have this warded. He's gonna go for the ulti and. Surprise! Nobody showed up to your party. Sucks to be you. He's gonna get Talon goes in though. Again, does not quite manage to finish off the cast. Not quite. Then six goes down as well. Everybody showed up to his party after he already finished throwing the surprise, unfortunately. And then they turned it around to a surprise on him. It's okay though. These guys are gonna be able to defend this tower pretty well. I mean, Caitlyn honestly has some pretty good wave clear. So she's going to be able to keep them off. In the meantime, I really comes down here to the bot lane. She's also got pretty decent wave play, especially with that ulti. And they're all dead. I can never figure out if I really like the sounds of Aurelia or if it annoys me. I mean, honestly, it's really cool. But the high pitched is also kind of annoying. And I never know which one. I always oscillate between them. I like that, and then that's that's terrible. Make it stop. Anyway, back to Talon. He went ahead and bought a pickaxe here. Possibly gonna go and finish off the ravenous Hydra, but I'm not altogether certain. 
coming in now onto the cast. Goes in, dodges out her ulti, and able to go ahead and use his to go ahead and finish her off again. Comes out of that with double buff, and yeah, that was a good deletion on his part. Had her ult landed, I think he actually would have been okay. Oh, I, mean, I think she actually would have been okay, sorry. But unfortunately for her, did not end up doing it. That cutthroat put him behind her. And I do not believe any part of it hit. It might have hit the slow. He might have turned away just in time so that only the slow hit. I'm honestly not completely certain. It was a little hard to tell there. But now... Huh, that's bugged out. So I'm going to see when his ulti comes back up. That sucks. I'll probably see when it comes back up. But I don't get to see how much longer until it comes back up. Anyway, though, he's on his way top to go ahead and shove this. He is back in the lead on CS. He's way in the lead on kills. And honestly, he's yeah, he's ahead of pretty much everybody on kills. She's trying to catch up. Not going to happen. Got just enough gold for an item from the looks of it. So he is headed back, and we will see what he turns this into. Just, just, just a trip back, apparently. Talon, why you do this to me? <laughs> Just went up there, shoved the lane out, and went back just to go ahead and get to safety, I guess. Anyway, though, these guys clean. All right, sorry about that little glitch there. We are back, though. For whatever reason, Lolking servers decided that they were done serving me up that precious, precious replay. And uh, replay just kind of ended right here, which makes absolutely no sense. But that's that's the way it was. Just said, hey, yeah, there's no more replay here. We're done. Which is clearly not the case. We do have a team fight going on over here. The Fiddlesticks decided to go in. Down went the Nami, but so did the Cassiopeia. Graves finished off the Fiddlesticks. In comes Talon. Goes in with the burst there. Insta destroys the Graves, finishing off with his ulti. The Blitzcrank went down as well. The assist, of course, goes over to Talon. And now, Aurelia is mostly doing most of the work here on the Scion, and Talon's just kind of sitting around the sidelines, because there's really not much he can do. He's really squishy, and he will end up going down to Scion. Ends up being able to finish him off there, and the stun from the Aurelia, just to go ahead and make sure that he does not manage to do anything. Down goes the Scion. Rest in peace, sir. Rest in peace. And yeah, this is actually the second time I'm recording this specific part, because... Unfortunately, the whole Windows forgetting what volume levels I have set for stuff thing happened, and it decided, hey, we should uh, we should turn game sounds up to be really loud again. No, it was terrible, guys. It was terrible, but it's fixed now, so you guys should not be hearing massively overpowered audio, which is always good. I would really like to figure out why it does that too. Figure out how to configure my microphone so I don't have to adjust that every time because it gets really old. But anyway, Talon sitting here trying to go back, but in come Blitzcrank. Blitzcrank says, no, you don't get to go back. And Talon says, fine, let's go walk over here. <laughs> Pretty close to going back there too, but uh, did not manage to finish it off. All right, need to put everybody back in order here. I remembered last time and then this time, yeah, no. There, there we go, everybody's back in order now. And if we take a look at the CS for Talon here, he's actually only a little ahead of Cassiopeia, but again, it's still pretty impressive given the fact that it is Cassiopeia and it is Talon. Another possible team fight over here, Cassiopeia being able to finish off the Aurelia down here. Caitlyn is just working it over here. Ends up going down there to the Graves, but it does mean that the Blitzcrank gets super low. Cassiopeia also really low, as is Blitzcrank. They don't go for it though. The Scion here just keeps them zoned. Nicely done by him. And Cassiopeia or Blitzcrank easily could have died to Talon there. But unfortunately for him, did not end up seeing it. Only saw the Graves and only uh, saw the, uh, the Scion directly after. Sees that his blue buff is gone. Gonna attempt to go back again. Believe he changes his mind, however. Yep, changes his mind. These guys don't want to get zoned out of the tower here. Blitzcrank is pretty low. His barrier is popped, but he gets seen. He sees the Talon over here in the ward. So Talon not going to be able to go for this. If he tried, he'd meet an angry Graves. And he didn't really want that. But he gets some decent farm, and that's always good. Yes. 13-5-5, though. That, that's definitely very impressive. I, I can honestly say I am pretty darn impressed with this Talon. I, it's, yeah, it's like watching Insoy back when he used to play a lot. I, I really wish he would come back and play some more, but I, I know he's really popular with you guys as well. 
but you know, maybe now we have a uh, possible Insoi replacement until Insoi gets it back in gear and decides to play a lot more Talon. Out comes the potion here, the Elixir of Wrath gets him that extra damage and of course the increased heal from it as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and head on out there now, see what he can do. He is actually working on an Infinity Edge, I, I do know this. I actually called it, I think I called it a little while ago, but I'm not sure. But either way, I saw the end of the game, and I, I was definitely right. It is indeed an Infinity Edge this guy's working on, which is honestly going to give him a ton of damage. He'll be able to delete very well. Out comes that Fiddlesticks. Zanya's not enough to save his life, though, and these guys are forced to fall back. Another kill goes down to Cast, and now that the team fights have started, she's actually getting really dangerous. So they, they've got to watch out. Definitely got to watch out. Don't want to end up going down to this. Talon, definitely pretty far up here. Looks like he wants to go for the Graves, and he goes in deep. And the Graves flashes over the wall. The Blitzcrank, though, pulls Talon over to go ahead, give him the opportunity to finish off the Graves. Graves is probably not so happy this time. And Talon gets a kill. Rengar ends up going down as well to the Caitlyn. And all in all, that just ended up being a really unpleasant little bit there for the blue team. I have a feeling Graves is not at all happy with that Blitzcrank. And if it not been for him, Graves would still be alive. Pull comes out, lands on Nami. She gets popped out. Should be okay, though. Lands the bubble onto the Cassiopeia. No, you don't get to fight me. And she's going to be able to get out of this with no problem whatsoever. Look at the cocky laughing. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, Talon coming back up in four. There we go. I don't, know what the, I don't know what the deal is with the red line. Fraps does that sometimes. It's kind of frustrating. All right, though. He is back now. He's got 1,000 gold. There we go. There comes that infinity edge. He's going to have a lot more damage now, and he'll be able to burst somebody down a lot easier again. Super deadly talent. Down he comes again. Going to see what he can do. He is on his way down. Ulti from Scion comes out. The bubble comes out from Nami. Does not work there. And the Q comes out on the Fiddlesticks. But in comes Talon. Goes straight for Graves. Graves gets instantly de deleted. And the rest of the red team fighting off these three members of the blue team. In goes Talon to go ahead and help finish off the kill on the Rengar. Kill actually goes over to Aurelia. And now they are on their way up to that Baron. You see the ping up there. Scion's on his way to try to get away from him. And he actually should be able to as long as they go to the Baron. It looks like the Aurelia going to go ahead and zone him off just to be sure. And now the rest of the red team going to go straight for this Baron. Engage comes out from the rake there from Talon. And yeah, they're going straight for the Baron. There's no way that the blue team can stop it. They don't have a jungler. And two members of their team are really far back. Out comes the Q. Talon jumps over. And out comes that ulti there from Cyan to get the heck out. But... He turns it back around on the side on the talent, but he is actually in trouble now because of that. Should have just kept running. Ends up going down, trying to go for the Caitlyn. Gets bubbled up, and he's gonna end up going down yet again. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace. Blitzcrank don't want to mess with this. Neither does Cassiopeia. You better run. You better run. She does distract the Aurelia though. Aurelia's trying to try to go back. She put a poison on her. No back for you, sir. Or madam, whatever. And, oh, the pull comes out. In goes the Fiddlesticks, though. They are going for another engage. Out comes that oldie there from Talon. He goes in onto the Blitzcrank. Ignite comes out onto the Graves. It is still burning, and, oh, it's just able to go ahead and finish off that Graves. Ends up giving the double kill there to the Talon, and he's going to go ahead and buy that Ravenous Hydra, get him that lifesteal, make him even more deadly with the sustain now, and he'll be able to come out and just rip them apart even more. He, I, I liked what he did there too. Went off, burned down the Blitzcrank, and ignited the the uh, graves just to make sure that you know it went down. And <laughs> unfortunate for Aurelia, of course, and she probably wanted that kill, but ended up working out okay for her talent. You know. So hey, why not, right? They do have that Baron, of course. Unfortunately, Talon does not have the Baron buff. He's just kind of sitting here in the dust. No Baron buff for you, buddy. But he shouldn't need it, because at this point in the game, he is actually really deadly. I mean, of course, never really need it, but it still would be nice to have. He's sitting here at 277 gold. I'm not going to be able to buy anything. He is on his way out now. Guardian Angel comes out for Irelia, and lots of pings saying, hey, 
I'm gonna go to blue buff, or red buff, and then I'm gonna head mid. It looks like that was probably Caitlyn saying that. And Talon goes in, out comes that ulti, and the Yo Moose, he gets pulled though, and not gonna be able to finish off the Cassiopeia, but the Irelli was there to follow through with that, and she ends up going down. Talon down to about half of his health. Rengar hanging out here, gonna go ahead and go for the blue, but he sees them in his ward vision, and he's gonna be forced to back off. This blue buff gonna go over to Talon really fast, and now they're gonna shove mid here. The Scion is up top, which means he's not gonna be able to help with this whatsoever, and down goes Graves really fast there to Caitlyn. Caitlyn's going now for that Blitzcrank. One more shot gonna do it. Out comes the ulti. That guy is dead. And they managed to go ahead and take down this Inhib turret. Going for the inhibitor now as well. It melts almost instantly. Scion continuing to shove top, but these guys are going for the win here. He's gonna try to teleport. Unfortunately, down goes the turret, and he does not manage to do it. That teleport is canceled. Rangar shoving bot. Not even gonna try to stop this. Out comes that ulti from Cassiopeia. Talon says, you die. He does delete her, but she is able to finish him off thanks to that Nexus turret. But Nexus getting really low. Scion zoning these guys away. Or actually, they're just trying to get the kill, honestly. Because that Nexus is dead, and that is the end of this game. So I'm definitely impressed with High Hyatt's, Hyatt's talent. I hate its talent. Uh, he, he's definitely a really good talent player. Honestly, really impressive again definitely check out his uh talent guide if you are somebody who wants to play talent because even with the nurse he is apparently just utterly dominating so definitely check it out i hope you guys enjoyed the game though and i will see you guys next time have a good night bye